You want to go outside? Come on out. Come on. Wanna come out. Come on. Wanna come out. Want to go outdoors and go potty? Huh? Want to go outside and go to the bathroom? Come on. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Go get in your tote if you want to go outdoors. Go on. Keep going. If you want to go outside and use the bathroom. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my joy. Want to go outside and go potty? Say, yep. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Get in your tote if you want to go outdoors. They don't specifically understand English. I couldn't say one way or the other, but they are creatures of habit, so they know what certain things mean. Get in your tote if you want to go out in the bathroom. Come on. Come on. I'll go out and use the bathroom. That's a goal. Climb in your box. Get your tail tipped down for me. I'll go outside. I'll go outdoors for a little while and go bathroom. All of my snakes are like this. I don't have an exception out of my 12. Every one of them are very people friendly, very sociable. They all know my routine and I know how they do things and how they like things. It, it's a bonding, no matter how many people don't want to admit it, it is a bonding process. And you learn from each other through the experience you have working with them and taking care of them. So people are nuts if they don't think that it's a bonding process because it definitely is one day at a time and every time you handle them. What are you looking for? It's 80 out today, but there's a nice breeze, so it's not too hot on his skin. That's the thing you got to be concerned with is the temperature of their skin, because if their skin's exceptionally hot, then their core temps are hot. Last thing you want to do is give your snake a heat stroke. <laughs> it sounds funny, but you can shock them. Extreme temp differences can shock them. Hi, sweetheart. Where's your sweetheart? You gonna go potty? Huh? Uh-uh. You gonna use the bathroom? Hi, sweetie. Here's my sweetie. At your toe. You gotta use the bathroom before you can go back in, though. Yeah, go potty. Go potty. You're gonna get on me again. What's new? Ugh. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. He's really heavy to bring out in this plastic coat. Takes a lot of strength to haul him out here and back in. Go potty. Go use the bathroom. Look at you. You watching out for me again? He stays close to me and he watches everything that moves around us. Mm, this is chewy. Follow me. I get up and move you. Follow me. Of course. Mm. You gotta be near my mom all the time. Yeah, I do. Here goes the tail. You feel safe on my lap. He always does this. He has to be touching me or on me to use the bathroom outdoors. I think it makes him feel secure. All right. It's okay. I'll protect you.
like you're a piece of work. So I always got to be near my mom to use the bathroom outside. Here. He's very, very heavy and very, very healthy. And this is Chewy. I'm glad I've got a lot of upper arm strength. Look at that belly. Isn't that beautiful? He seldom will let me get a shot of his stomach and his patterns. So yes, I'm a very handsome man. He's going to be breeding with Jade, my female, next year. After Christmas time. After winter. Big Mahoney. He's got mama's boy. He's got my mama's boy. Oh, 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 oh. Did you see something? <laughs> Carpet pythons are awesome snakes. I don't care what anybody says. I've never, I've got two that I've raised them. And they're just not nipping, biting snakes if you start working with them and do it consistently. I have no issues with Chewy. I have none with Jade. They're just not like that. I hate them. I always wondered if snakes get stung by bees and wasps and things. Never really ask anyone. Don't know for a fact that they do or if it even bothers them if they do. Kind of a curious question. One I've never really made any effort to find out about. I think people wonder about that, about dogs and cats too, if they get stung, how bad it affects them. On the nose, I know it's noticeable. <laughs> they have a fit, but otherwise, I don't know, as thick as the snake's skin is, Kind of makes you wonder if the venom from a wasp or a bee has any effect on them physically. I'm a mama's boy, no doubt about it. Yep. So I'm a mama's boy, for real. Cross my lap. You're on my camera case there. Okay. So I'm a mama's boy. He goes on forever. All my snakes are just as friendly and sociable as Chewy is. I, I don't know why people think snakes are mean and hateful. and Their reputation just blows my mind that people give them because they're nothing like what people portray them to be. Especially the press and media. They make me want to crack up. College campus threatened by an escaped three football python. Give me a freaking break. You got to be kidding. How can people be that gullible? Uh, amazingly, they are to believe a three foot long ball python. One of the calmest and most mellow snakes there is that raised by people is gonna threaten the college campus. That's, that was definitely the joke of the year. Hey, Chewy. You all better? You emptied out your belly. Back to me, of course. Beautiful purple tongue. Back to mama. Say thank you. 
So yeah, I came outdoors and it's pretty waste. I feel all better now. Is that all better? You feel better now? You came out and went to the bathroom? Yeah? Yeah, you did? I didn't want my camera. I leave my camera alone. He's very curious. Actually, all animals. Snakes are especially curious animals. That's why I take all mine outdoors. So they can be exposed to something new instead of just looking at four walls of a enclosure or cage all the time. I just mowed yesterday. There's some loose grass there. Get it all over you. I've been taking my snakes outdoors as long as I've been raising them. I've never, my snakes have never got mites from being outdoors. I don't know where people get their information from. You stand more of a risk of getting mites from a box or a bag of wood substrate than you do taking your snakes outdoors. It, it's just amazing the facts that people fabricate. Like I said, I've been keeping snakes now, actually. It's 51 years. I've never had one of my snakes get mites or anything from being outdoors. So it's just a crock. I don't let them in trees. I don't let them in loose dirt, and I don't let them in really tall grass. I don't know why people are so afraid of big snakes. Actually, small snakes are the first ones that'll bite you and strike at you. Most big snakes are very calm and placid, and less provoked or in a feeding aggression. That's another whole bargain, but yeah. But your smaller snakes will be the first ones to bite you before a big one would. I don't know why people fear big snakes. If you know how to handle them and they trust you, you don't have a problem with them at all. They know, see, people don't have problems with us if they're cool people.